Parsons Corporation Chief Financial Officer Matt Ophelos has been appointed to chair Executive Mosaic's CFO Group for its 4x24 Leadership Series. Email info at executivemosaic.com to join or inquire about the elite program. The Senate on Wednesday voted 83-11 to to confirm General Charles C.Q. Brown, Chief of Staff of the U.S. Air Force, as Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. In conversation with Executive Mosaic, Bill Rowan, Vice President of Public Sector at Splunk and a 2023 WASH 100 Award winner, spoke about the key areas of artificial intelligence growth, the challenges related to AI adoption in the public sector and how AI is changing the cybersecurity landscape. Global Foundries has received a potential 10-year, $3.1 billion contract from the Defense Microelectronics Activity to provide microelectronic products and trusted processes for the Department of Defense and other federal agencies. Jim Teichlet, CEO of Lockheed Martin, said the defense and aerospace contractor is in late-stage negotiations with a solid rocket motor company to create a new supplier of solid rocket motor propulsion systems. The U.S. Navy has selected five companies to handle large, general construction projects in the greater national capital region, under a potential $950 million contract. The U.S. Air Force has decided to cancel a potential 10-year, $5.3 billion contract for enterprise cybersecurity support services, due to its inability to achieve a manageable number of prime contract awards using the established procurement strategy and source selection evaluation procedures. Mantech designated the role of vice president to Mike Monson, former president of Definitive Logic, a week after it acquired the digital transformation consulting services provider. Join GovkinWire's events fireside chat with the DCMA on November 1, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. Three companies have won spots on a potential $750 million contract to provide the U.S. Space Force with installation repair and construction services. Sivan Group has secured a potential 10-year, $150 million blanket purchase agreement from the Department of Justice, for records and information management support services.